big data has enormous potential within the public service. According to Minister of Finance Colm Imbert, information that is readily available in real time enables government agencies and departments to make more informed decisions, improve their services, and take appropriate action quickly. For example, predictive modeling can be used in the health sector to generate updated coronavirus spread maps so the public can see which regions are expected to have a high rise in COVID-19 cases. These models can be quite diverse from exploring people's reactions to the virus on social media, to generating data-driven models to evaluate COVID-19 interventions, tracking bed capacity at hospitals, and working on virus genome sequencing to evaluate what we know about the virus. Minister Imbert said big data can also be used to predict revenue for the national budget, as it is the foundation for estimating oil and gas prices and production. Rapid digitalization of payments in the public sector, particularly in the Inland Revenue Division, will allow for greater data transparency with revenue collection. Through the cross-referencing of the Inland Revenue data, as well as other external data sources, such as commercial banks, companies and land registries, and our motor vehicle -like licensing division, the Inland Revenue Division would be able to better develop profiles for taxpayers, and identify patterns of interest to aid the division in compliance. Minister Imbert said government understands the need for enhancing information and communication technology and digital transformation within the country. By December 2022, each citizen should have an e-identity, have access to cashless transactions throughout most of the public service, and public access to data all while ensuring privacy. Kimberly D'Souza, CDT News.